Hi hey guys, I'm in the store right now. Should have got my sunglasses, for fuck's sake. Dude, I should have got my sunglasses in the snow actually. Hold on, I always get my sunglasses. I'm gonna get so good at this shit. Come to Iceland, they said. It would be fun, they said. Oh shit. What are you carrying? Are you just a point, man? You know, just, just make sure because whatever you're carrying, you might get sold. Hey guys, got some pro mountains to show you though. How about that? You can't see. Alright guys, got some pro mountains to show you. In the vlog. The vlog mountains. That is also being streamed. <gasps> but there's a guy in a tractor though. Look at that. I'm getting any footage on my camera, just switch it off. <laughs> I'm getting footage on your camera, it's great. Yeah, you can get the guy driving the truck. Oh, no I'm sorry. Where you're from. <laughs> from. We have found another waterfall. This one's called Skogafoss, I think. But I can't be sure. Okay, you do the music. I don't know the Jurassic Park. Why am I weirdo? Look, you see this guy here, guys? This is the second waterfall we've been at. The second one where he's wearing shorts. Look at those legs. Mm. Look at those legs. Sexy legs. Shorts in Iceland. Guys, I have a very special sight for you today. It's a rainbow over the waterfall. Look at it. Follow it. This guy's just standing in the water. He's hardcore. He takes his vlogging to the next level. We drove all the way to the plane wreckage car park, guys. Like literally 15 minutes before we arrived here, there's like suddenly like some kind of snowstorm. Like I don't know if you can see out the window. You can maybe see outside this one. Uh, the issue is, guys, that this is a 40 minute walk to the plane site. 40 minute walk through this. Uh, don't know about that, man. 40 minute walk there, 40 minute walk back, and the snowstorm isn't actually planning to finish in like the next couple of hours. I don't, I'm, I don't think that we should pick the 40 minute walk there and back. If you remember, this was how the snow was when we were at the waterfall, uh, the first one, and we got absolutely drenched. Just standing out in this for a couple of minutes, you'll be soaking wet. And then you'll have to keep walking even longer. Feels bad, man. Feels bad, boys. Good morning guys, we are in one of uh, the many national parks. Oh shit, there's actually some horse riding going on over there. That's going to be us later today guys, we're actually doing some horse riding. Pretty hyped for that. No matter where you're from. Hey. So yeah, horse riding, this will be the second time in my life I've done this. Only the second. These horses are slightly smaller though. These horses are so cute. They are so cute. Here we are getting kicked out. Helmet on. Take it, yeah. But this one is going like here. Ah. And then you have more contact to the horse. Always you're riding with contact from here to your elbow. So you can feel her a little bit. Usually in yellow is good for walking. If we go faster, we take to the blue one. Okay. Okay? 
just try her out if you can go here okay. round. Can I just use my legs to make her happy? First using the voice and then the legs. And then a little bit with the legs, push a little bit in your in her belly. Yes. Now we have to turn her because you want to stay with Clocky. Show her the side where you want to go. Yes. Cool. How do you say stop? Cool. cool. And sit back. And a little bit pulling with the reins. Okay. Yeah, that you know and she's understanding. We try again. Okay. Go to the other side, maybe. Maybe if you want to stop, you have to take the reins a little bit shorter because, like this, you have to pull very much that you can that we have the contact. Okay, so let's try. Let's try to stop. Good, yeah. And when she's done, you can give her the reins. Perfect. So you can try her a little bit around. If she do what you want, if you feel comfortable. First voice, done, feet. And then you have to control where she wants to go. <laughs> she like here inside they are really lazy, but outside then it's a little bit easier to ride them because usually they can stand here and play with the others, not to riding here inside. Yeah. Oh. Good. Is this uh, quite heavy for this horse? Yeah, of course it is heavy for the horse, but I, I'm pretty sure he will survive. Okay. <laughs> we don't have to bring him to the slaughterhouse after that experience. And, uh, <laughs> and, um, <laughs> oh, oh. Oh, and, and he don't. So our horses don't carry every day. So you feel comfortable? You want to try outside? Sure. Sure. That's funny. <laughs> Here was the horse I was riding on, guys. Clocky. In English, my horse is called Ice Cube. No matter where you're from. Look at this horse with the black head, white body, and it's got different colored eyes. One side. And look at this. Look at the other eye. Oh, he's hiding it from me. He's hiding his eye. Come. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I think it's blue. Here you go. Nice. Come. You can't see it. Yeah, you can. It's blue. There you go. And there's another horse that's eating my arm. <laughs> I wouldn't do that about you, that's just asking me Ben. No, it's not, he's just playing. Look at his little mouth. <laughs> Does this horse like cameras? <laughs> it was like everything because they are young, so they try everything out. Thank you.